Yo, what is going on guys? It is AJ Vance here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect your PS5 controller to your PC so you can use it on pretty much any game. One method is going to be for if you're using it on Steam and the second method is going to be a tricky little method that you can do to use it on pretty much any other game that's outside of Steam. So let's jump into the video. Okay, like I said, the first method is going to take place on Steam which will allow you to use the DualSense controller on pretty much any game on Steam. Just make sure you do have a USB Type-C cable because the DualSense controller doesn't actually come with one. So yeah, make sure you've got one of these. And once you've plugged in the cable to your DualSense controller, it will pop up in the right side of your computer saying that a controller has been detected and it will automatically download the drivers for you. It's not doing this for me obviously because I've already used my controller on my PC so my drivers are already installed. Okay so once you've got your control plugged in and the drivers have been automatically installed, let's go over into my computer now and I'll show you what you need to do on Steam. Okay we are over at my PC now and once you've got Steam loaded up and your DualSense controller plugged in, you want to go ahead and click on this button here which will basically launch Steam into big picture mode. This is where you can configure controllers actually completely control Steam using a controller. So you're going to want to go up here, click on settings, click on controller settings and then down here it will normally say wireless device or something like that. My one says PS5 controller because I've named it that and I've already set it up. But you're going to want to click that and then around here it will say define layout and when you click that button it will come up with a page where you can basically configure the whole layout of your buttons. For me it doesn't say that because like I said I've already set up my control but I will put a screenshot up on the screen so you can see what it normally looks like. Once you've got your controller set up you want to come over here and make sure you've got these two boxes ticked. Once you've done this you can go ahead and launch any game in Steam and it should work completely fine. As you can see here I am playing Rainbow Six Siege on my DualSense 5 controller which I would highly recommend against because I do not recommend using a controller when you're playing Siege. It is way better to play it on keyboard and mouse but for the sake of this video and to show you guys it really does work I'm playing with my DualSense 5 controller. Okay now on to method 2, this is if you want to use your DualSense 5 controller on any game outside of Steam. Basically what you're going to do is trick your PC into thinking you're using an Xbox 360 controller. So let's hop into my PC and show you guys how that is done. Okay we're over at my PC now and what you're going to want to do is download the Xbox 360 controller emulator app. I'll leave a link to this in the description so you just want to go to this link, click download for all games, unzip it and open it. And once you've opened it you'll be on this screen here. It looks a little bit confusing at first glance but trust me it is super easy to use. Make sure you've got controller 1 selected and then click add and then you're going to want to tick this box where it says Sony Interactive Entertainment and click add selected device. This is going to add your PS5 controller to the emulator app. Make sure enable one map device is selected and then from here you can just go ahead and map the buttons and I'll show you guys how to do that. It is really really easy. So all you do is click on these little drop down boxes and then click record. It will then flash over here which button you are recording and then you just click the same button on your controller like that and it is mapped. Now I've already mapped all the buttons on my ones as you can see but yeah that's literally all you do. You go ahead click it, click record, click the same button that is flashing on the Xbox controller on your PS5 DualSense controller and it will map it. Once you've got this all mapped out you can go ahead and launch any game outside of Steam and it should work for you. Now just bear in mind this might not work for everybody and I'm not completely sure why. I can say this doesn't actually work for me but the reason why I'm showing you guys this method is because I have actually seen with my own eyes this work for other people. I would not be showing you guys this if there was no chance of it working for you. So I'm not sure why it works for some and doesn't work for others. It doesn't work for me like I said but it might work for you and I hope it does. The thing is I've only really tested this out on Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare and it doesn't run on those two games and it might just be those two games but definitely give this method a try and drop a comment if it did end up working for you. And there you go guys that is two methods to get your DualSense 5 controller working on your PC. I hope these methods did work for you because this controller is absolutely amazing and it's good that we can finally use it on PC. We haven't got haptic support for PC yet but hopefully that will be coming soon because I would love to play some PC games with the haptic support on the triggers. But that is it for today's video guys, if you did find it helpful, then make sure you do like, comment, subscribe and turn on bell notifications because I upload daily content just like this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.